of the road. It's the King of the Road Show, and I'm your host, Jim King of the Road. In case you haven't heard, I recently joined the star-studded local lineup at the all-new AM 1300 KSCT, the talk of Southeast Texas. Listen for my entertainment announcements and commentaries on AM 1300 or at ksctlive.com. In this episode, we're recapping our recent trip to Europe with visits to Florence, Italy, and Lugano, Switzerland. In this segment, we're continuing our look in the rear view at our stay in Lugano. Once again, these segments are sponsored by my favorite Italian restaurant outside of Italy, Carabas Italian Grill in Beaumont. Carabas makes all of their meals from scratch and serves up the most authentic Italian cuisine in the area. They go the extra mile and put the quality and freshness of their ingredients over the cost of business. There's no corner cutting at Carabas Italian Grill. Again, they're located at 1550 IH10 South in Beaumont and are open seven days a week. Carabas prides themselves in not only having traditional Italian food, but they also have many delicious grilled items cooked over a wood-burning grill with oak and pecan. Cruise into Carabas Italian Grill in Beaumont soon and tell them King of the Road sent you. Trays and seat backs in the upright position, store your carry-ons and join me as we fly back to lovely Lugano, Switzerland. With steep hills towering above Lake Lugano and the majestic snow-capped Alps poking up over the horizon, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more picturesque setting on Earth. It's no surprise that Lugano has become one of Switzerland's favorite tourist destinations, and it has been referred to as the Monte Carlo of Switzerland. That's due to the growing number of celebrities, entertainers, and professional athletes who regularly flock to the clean and lovely town of about 60,000 inhabitants. While strolling the cobblestone walkway along the beautiful banks of Lake Lugano, we stopped to chat with Phil and Beatrice, a very charming and interesting local couple. Well, we're, we're talking to some of the locals here. We've got Phil and uh, Beatrice. And they live on this hill right over here. You probably can see your house, huh? Y yes, you can. I mean, it's, it's just midway. It's uh -huh. uh, uh, very white, uh, white and, and, and uh, salmon colored. Uh -huh. And it's a great place to live. Really, the weather here is absolutely fantastic. And the sights, you just can't beat it. No, I mean, very scenic. Yeah. Um, beautiful walks you can take everywhere. And beautiful women, obviously, with the <laughs> Beatrice here. Yeah, I hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, uh, you're you're an American, though, aren't you? Well, I, I grew up in California. When I was three uh -huh. years old, my, my dad immigrated, and, and we lived uh, until I was 21 in, um, in Los Angeles. So, uh, I, and I enjoyed Los Angeles, I enjoyed the beach, I did surfing, learned how to play tennis. I've been playing tennis all my life. <laughs> you have a boat? Do you go sailing on the lake here? I, no, that I don't. I, I, I prefer waves to, to uh -huh. sailing. <laughs> Unfortunately, no waves here. No surfing here, No huh? surfing here, yeah. no. So how long have you been in this uh, town? Uh, I retired at the age of 56, and I've been here now uh, eight years. Uh-huh. Enjoying life. <laughs> how did you two meet? Through tennis. Yeah, we, we play tennis together. Uh -huh. and, and then it just, uh, just zing, it happened. Well, it's really got to be an idyllic life living here. I consider ourselves very lucky. I mean, I, I loved living in Los Angeles. And I, 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 I like the American way of life, but I also like this small, idyllic, 60,000 inhabitant city. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, everything works here. It, it, it's really, really very relaxing and people are very friendly here. You don't get bored? Is there plenty to do here? Uh, uh, there's plenty to do. There's a lot of concerts. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, the city of Lugano does, uh, there's a, an ATP Challenger event in, in, in June where I participate in helping to organize. Um, there, there's concerts and of course you can take beautiful walks all over the place. Yeah. Well, you're on TV now in Beaumont, Texas. Have you ever been there? Uh, no, I've been to Houston and I've been to Dallas. We're not too far from Houston, about 85 miles east of Houston. <laughs> so, uh, well, hello to all the folks there in Houston. You got to come over and visit Lugano once. And I mean, Beaumont, I know they place. they all need to come here. I've been. Yeah, come we, here. I was just talking to my buddies on KSCT uh, AM 1300 a few minutes ago and telling them how beautiful it is here. It's just it's breathtaking. We just came from Florence, of course. Uh, Florence, Italy, is a gorgeous oh, that, place. That's beautiful too. Yeah. yeah. Have you? You made Venice. We've been to Venice. Yeah. Venice is also time. absolutely yeah. gorgeous. It's beautiful, oh, yeah. yeah. It's like a little dream. Eh? Yeah, yeah uh, we like it. I have been maybe for about three or four times there, and it's really 
great. And then it's only about three hours from here. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, yeah. And you're from Zurich. I'm from Zurich, yeah. But to live here, you have to speak Italian, don't you? Yes, uh, uh, we uh, speak Italian. Then I uh, talk also in German because I have been in Zurich. Mm -hmm. And my three children, they talk also German and then English, French and Italian. Yeah, yeah, people are, are multilingual here in this yeah. in this region, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Do you speak Italian? Uh, uh, yes, fluently. Uh, okay. yeah. Italian, German, Swiss German, and English. Well, tell me again how how you ended up here. Um, well, I haven't been born here. I always had relatives down here, uh -huh. and uh, when I retired, uh, I, I said, uh, "Whoops." Your dog wants to be on TV. He wants to be on TV. <laughs> What's his you? name? His, his name is Piccolo. Small <laughs> so, so when you retired, you just figured this is the place to be. This huh? is the place to be. It's yeah. not the place to work uh -huh. because I, I was doing IT, and mm -hmm. for IT, Zurich is much better. I was working up in Zurich. Yeah. But it, to retire, this is a, a great place to retire. Well, I envy you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice, nice to see you too. To you. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. All the best, huh? All the best. Fine. Hello, Colupo. Hello to everybody in Hello. Texas. Boca Lupo, that means good luck, right? Right. Yeah, right. that's right. In, in Boca Lupo, it means um, in the mouth of the wolf. Sure enjoyed visiting with Phil and Beatrice. They're very lucky to be living in beautiful Lugano. And again, we had a wonderful time in the picturesque city with all the great sights, wonderful stores, and of course, fantastic food. We also enjoyed our stay in the hotel. Oh, and I need to mention that we had high-tech toilets. Got two buttons. One for number one, one for number two. Let's try number one. Now, I'm assuming that uh, number two has a, a mightier flush. I would say that's a big 10-4. Like I say, high-tech toilets, only in Switzerland. It's been a long time since I interviewed a toilet. I mean, a throne, since it's king of the road. Case closed. After two days and nights in lovely Lugano, we boarded another train and took the three-hour ride back to Florence, Italy, our base and home of my mother, Dr. Martha King. My mom, a retired teacher and now a translator, has lived in and around Florence, Italy since 1979. It's the King of the Road Show, and coming up in the next segment, we'll continue exploring Florence with a visit to the Church of Santa Croce, some more delicious meals, and we'll explore the interior of the Duomo. 